everyone this is dr gorav kumar and i welcome you all to my youtube channel today we are going to discuss about disease reservoirs so in this class we will be discussing about various type of disease reservoirs and what kind of microorganisms can transmit from there to the host so the disease reservoir are the natural habitat or source of the disease causing microorganisms where microorganism lives in the normal conditions these reservoirs may be either animate or they could be inanimate or you can say they could be non living as a part of infectious cycle all microorganisms exist at least temporarily in reservoirs and from there they gets transmitted to the host where they might be responsible for causing infections and sometimes they are also causing disease as you can see from this line diagram microbes naturally present in the reservoirs from there they get transmits and reaches to the host where they might cause infection or disease there are three types of reservoirs human reservoirs animal reservoirs and environmental reservoirs first in this sequence we are going to discuss about human reservoirs so human bodies have defense mechanism to prevent infections however when it fails then humans become infected with microorganisms and then they can serve as reservoirs it means from infected humans microorganisms can get transmitted to the other people human reservoirs can be of two types symptomatic reservoirs as well as subclinical reservoirs so humans which is showing symptoms of the disease after getting infection are considered as symptomatic reservoirs uh, in case of disease like mumps measles smallpox human can behave like a symptomatic reservoir uh, second one is subclinical reservoirs during these cases humans remains asymptomatic it means they remains infected with the microorganism however they does not show any symptom although during this also they can spread the microorganisms to others so this can happen in cases of disease like acute phase of tuberculosis hepatitis b infection hiv herpes simplex virus these are just few examples there could be many more examples which could be added to this next the second one is animal reservoirs uh, for many microorganism animal serves as reservoir and can transmit it to humans and uh, that's uh, that's why they are known as animal reservoir for many diseases animals are serving as reservoirs for example like plague rabies malaria toxoplasmosis such diseases which is getting transmitted from animals to humans are called as zoonotic disease or they are also known as zoonosis there are various types of animal reservoirs we can have insects one of the classical example of this is the anopheles mosquito which serves as vector for malaria low vertebrates like dog for rabies cat for toxoplasma high vertebrates sheep for brucellosis similarly cow and buffalo can also act as a reservoir for buffalosis birds can act as very uh, important reservoir for salmonella typhimurium and cryptococcus similarly rodents can also act as reservoir for uh, various other diseases for example rat skin serves as reservoir for bubonic plague the third category of reservoirs are environmental reservoirs and there are large number of microorganism who uses environmental factors as the reservoirs so two major categories of environmental reservoirs includes water and soil so first we will be discussing uh, briefly about water so water can hold a variety of pathogenic microorganisms including bacteria virus and parasites for example cholera streptococcus pseudomonas and eggs and larva of various parasites soil so broadly we can classify the soil into two groups one of them we can say like hard soil or dry soil which is usually containing the spore forming microorganisms or spore of the microorganisms like bacterial spores of clostridium tetani clostridium balchi and many other fungal spores similarly soft soil for example garden soil agriculture soil they are uh, supposed to have high number of parasites egg larva 
some of the bacteria especially the enteric bacteria like e coli salmonella shigella and some of the enteric viruses also like hepatitis a virus so these are the three types of reservoir if you like this video please like this share this with your friends and please subscribe to our channel thank you